Lindsay Davis. Yeah. <laughs> Lindsay Davis. Usually covering the news stories, but this morning she's here because she is also an award-winning author, has a brand new children's book out called One Big Heart. It is just out today, and I have to say, as the band is getting ready over that's there, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right, drum roll, baby. <laughs> love it, love it. <laughs> I love controlled chaos. Uh, full disclosure, my family, huge fan of your books. This is your second one. My niece's little, precious little girl, Sally, um, gave it two thumbs up. Oh, she was so excited. I think with that Sally at right there. Oh. She was so excited to see someone who looks like herself in the book. And I think just as important as it is for children to be able to see a child that they can relate to and say, that looks just like me, I think it's equally as important that they see children who don't look like mm -hmm. them. Because quite often, especially if you live in an area where the children, the population is not diverse, when your school or synagogue or, or church is not diverse, I think that quite often you have to find the books and the toys and whatever it is, so that children can be exposed and be familiar to a culture, to kids who are different from they are. And I think as we talk about this increased intolerance in our country and the hate crimes that keep increasing year after year, you have to look at quite often it's based on fear of the unknown. Quite often it's based on not knowing another culture, another people, a different background. Exactly. Exactly. And you have your little precious Aiden. Aiden is oh, here today. That's your little boy. <laughs> <laughs> inspiration for the first one. Who was your inspira inspiration for the second one? Well, I wrote this book with my mom, which was fun because she was it? she's a retired English <laughs> teacher. Yeah. And she was really my inspiration in general for learning um. it, to appreciate writing and storytelling from a child. Mm -hmm. And so it's interesting because the same kind of messages that she was trying to instill in me, you know, 40 plus years <laughs> ago, I'm now trying to instill in my own son and the children of this generation, right? And so the idea of acceptance and embracing right. diversity and celebrating that we're more alike than different. Thank you. My mother always said that, that we have more in common than yes. not. So why don't we celebrate? those similarities instead of focusing on the differences. How was it working with your mom? It was good. I mean, we just, you know, I, she can be critical. Oh, wow. uh, yeah, she can be critical, but you know, she may be watching, so it was great. No, but uh, but but she's a great writer. And um, so sometimes her writing is a little lofty for like, you know, a three and four and five year old, but it helped give me a little balance and, and perspective. And, you know, really the first half of the book, it's basically, hey, we're different as far as our skin color, uh, our likes, our, our dislikes, hair. our personality, mm -hmm. hair, and features and then the back half of the book is but what do we have in common what is it that mm. unites us and God gave us all this one special gift of a big heart and that's the most important part because that's where love starts that's where it starts and that's, the that's the underlying message that's the underlying message yes okay. celebrating being more alike than different Okay, and can we just show, didn't you do a little flossing with your mom? Like, was a writer's oh, break yes. or something? So my yeah, mom yeah, yeah. is in the back right. So my mom and her sisters, um, uh, my, my son Aiden and uh, his cousin were trying to teach them how to floss, and you can see it. <laughs> yeah, it was okay. It was all right. They were but trying. You write much better than that. Uh, that and so does my mom. That's and so it. Does my that's mom. it. But I can floss. <laughs> you can. This is a beautiful book, Thank and you. the message is so. We can learn from babes. We can yes. learn from the mouth the of babes. Students become the, the teacher. That's right. <laughs> and Lindsay's book, One Big Heart. I love that title. One Big Heart is out today. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.